most accurate forecast with Thomas Keyboy, Weather rate certified 11 years in a row. As if it wasn't hot enough around here, we're turning up that heat just a tad. All right, Thomas, yeah. what are we in for? Yeah, Friday, we're going to be flirting with records in Salt Lake City. The record high in Salt Lake City tomorrow is 104. We're going to be very close to that, but we have ongoing excessive heat warnings, heat advisories, the isolated storm potential that's still sticking around even tomorrow. And then going into this Pioneer Day weekend, there's going to be a better chance for those showers and thunderstorms, especially in southern Utah. But models kind of waffling back and forth just how far north that moisture gets into northern Utah, but we'll kind of break down some of those details in just a few minutes. Here's the view from Utah State University overlooking Utah State University in Logan. Just absolutely beautiful. And those few specks that you see right there on your lens, we actually saw a little thunderstorm work its way through Cache Valley a little while ago, but it's still hot outside in Logan, sitting at 92 degrees. It's 99 in Ogden, 101 in Salt Lake City, 96 in Provo. And that's after Provo got a little bit of rain to knock down the temperature right around 90 degrees. But in St. George, it's 109, so it's no surprise why we have an excessive heat warning in place, not only for today, but for tomorrow as well. And as you make your way over into parts of southeastern Utah near Lake Powell, this excessive heat warning actually continues through Saturday evening as tomorrow in both St. George and Zion National Park, that daytime high could be at or even exceed 110 degrees. It's going to be hot to say the least. And then north of that into Iron County all the way up to Juab County, we have a heat advisory that's going to be in place tomorrow afternoon and evening. And it's Southeastern Utah, that heat advisory does begin tomorrow and will continue through Saturday with daytime highs in these areas ranging anywhere between 100 and 107. There's a chance that tomorrow Cedar City makes it to 100 degrees, so make sure you're taking those necessary precautions to beat the heat. We are looking at a few showers and thunderstorms that have cooled off a few spots out there, but the key word there is a few as we're tracking a few showers and storms, mainly in the higher terrain south of I-70, but a few showers and storms have developed in the West Desert. They're kind of losing their steam as they're approaching I-15. But if you're in the Salt Lake Valley, the Utah Valley, and down towards Nephi, there will be at least a chance that a shower or thunderstorm will be able to find you. And the future cast is actually pinpointing that by around 8 o'clock with Utah County kind of having that best chance with those showers and thunderstorms then fading away as we get into tonight. We lose the daytime heating. This has been very something that we've grown very accustomed to. And then for tomorrow, a little surge of moisture will be at least a possibility in the northern half of the state where along the Wasatch front and Wasatch back isolated showers and storms can't be ruled out, but that best chance will continue to be kind of in central and southern Utah favoring the higher train before we get more of a surge going into this upcoming weekend. But for tonight, we'll drop the 76 degrees in Salt Lake City, climbing to 103 tomorrow afternoon. Again, the record tomorrow, 104. We're going to be right in that territory along the Wasatch front as even Logan climbs to 98 degrees. Moab climbing to 109, 104 in Bluff and 110 in St. George, but I do think there is potential that we could even exceed that for tomorrow as a stubborn ridge of high pressure just has really refused to budge. And with that westerly flow, we haven't seen quite as much moisture in place, but moving forward here Friday into this weekend, this high pressure starts to move a little bit further to the east, allowing more of that deeper moisture to come in. But you'll see here with the future cast moisture going into and through this weekend, some of the forecast models keep that moisture mainly in the southern two thirds of the state, while other forecast models bring that just a little bit further north. So we'll at least have a slight chance for showers and storms in northern Utah through the Pioneer Day weekend with an increasing chance for showers and storms in southern Utah, especially by Sunday into Monday. So for St. George, we get excessive heat tomorrow, a daytime high right around 110, 108 for our Saturday. And as that moisture continues to increase, those daytime highs start to come down a little bit in St. George, covering around 100 degrees into early next week. But along the Wasatch Front, just a slight chance for a few showers and thunderstorms as we'll be near the record tomorrow. And then we'll hover right around 100 sun Saturday, Sunday into Monday, all with a slight chance, but mostly dry skies by the middle of next week.